we're going to our, our final session today we'll be treating pitching 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 all right pitching is the art of seeking agreement um you can seek agreement for money for sales for partnership to recruit um if you come to the natural and very um dressed down approach to pitching pitching is like toasting all right i mean you can toast a babe or you can toast a guy toasting is it, it, both both ways okay so you can pitch for 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 all of these things pitching is not meant to close the venture capital venture capitalist and grab the money as soon as possible no the essence of pitching is not to close the deal and collect the money no the purpose of a pitch is to qualify you for the next stage which is due diligence so your pitching is you wouldn't want to win their heart like i said it's like your first date your first date you you all you are trying to do is to seek acceptance i want to be desirable to this person i want to i want to be sought after i want to this person to see me as mm, the person i'm looking for and the truth is an entrepreneur is always pitching you will never stop pitching at every level in your business you keep pitching okay let's start getting into the fundamentals your pitching must follow the 10 20 30 rule now i've i did some research um some of these are i got a lot of information from guys kawasaki he's is very passionate about pitching so some of the information i'm sharing here are um tips that i got from listening to him reading his materials watching some of his um some of his videos on presentation and pitching now he has this 10 20 30 rule he says number one if you are going for a pitching session your slide must be 10 optimal slide 10 maximum 15 don't go beyond 15 slides keep your pitching timing within 20 minutes you have not more than 20 minutes to present and your font your powerpoint font must be 30 points in the minimal your 30 points must be the smallest fonts okay so let me take it again 10 slides optimal you can go as much as 15 20 minutes presentation and 30 points um fonts first thing is you need to cut crap skip the legends and get to the pitch stop all those stories about how your grandfather was a farmer your father inherited it now because it's a farm in the family blood no no nobody wants to hear all that story Keep the details out of the slide. First 30 seconds of your pitch, you need to answer the question, what do we do? The, the, the venture capitalist is trying to ask, uh, is just asking himself, what do you do? So get your product. Demo if it's allowed. Sometimes they may not have, you may not have the time to demo, but if you, if you ask, have the time, you can ask them. Um, I have a demo here. Can I can I run the demo? It's a it's a two minutes demo. If they give you the the chance, fine. If not, go ahead. You know your pitching can your your your, your starting off can can go something like our product enables you to relax your nerves and uh, this is what it looks like when you are agitated and this is what it looks like after you you use our product. Listen, when it comes to the business of pitching, especially the first thirty seconds, it's about crush or no crush. I mean, I mean, for you ladies, when you see when you see a guy, you know the first thing is, do I have a crush or do I not have a crush? At that point, you're not looking at whether he has money in the account, where he's working. The question is, the person I'm seeing, the specimen I'm looking at, do I have a crush? For for a guy, is there chemistry or there is no chemistry? I mean, I'm just trying to bring. Like, remember, I said pitching is like toasting. Listen, if there's no chemistry, the other um, profiles. <laughs> They don't matter you see when there's chemistry that's mm, you know that's you understand so the question is you need to start asking the venture capitalist listening to you is asking one question crush or no crush chemistry or no chemistry so you need to the, within the first 30 minutes, seconds establish that chemistry okay um um you see someone you like for the first time what makes that first initial liking I saw him i had a crush on him or i saw her i had chemistry for her so this should guide you um get to the product this is what it is before you use our product this is what it is after you you've used our product okay very important um keep it simple 
as much as possible don't try to impress with industry jargons if you are into some industry like medical in um, industry sectors please keep all those industry jargons out of the way it doesn't impress them any better okay impress the investor with how you intend to make your ideas fly mm -hmm. so what's that thing about my business idea that hits investors between the eyes very important you need to look for that thing what is it hit them between the eyes as quickly as possible okay use the opposite text in, def in defining your usp remember you you um, unique selling proposition or unique sales pro uh, positioning say something different from what your competitors will say state your difference factor if your competitors will say we we have um, a, 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 a a a competitive advantage if you say it if everybody says what everybody says nobody says nothing so keep away from words that you think or phrases that you think your competitors will likely normally have used if they were making the presentation a pitching is about showmanship it's about the show so show the how now in a pitching session focus on showing the how if it's an existing product and you just want to make it easier faster or better but if it's something new that you are bringing into the market that has never been done before show the what let me repeat again show the how if it's an existing product or a service that you just want to make easier faster or better show the what if it's something that's never been done before that's something new okay um, as much as possible know your products um, very well practice 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 this pitching session practice it every time practice before your mirror practice with people practice with everyday life I mean practice and practice and be yourself when you're doing the pitch okay let me go through let me remember we talked about the 10 slides not more than 15 slides let me go through what should um, you should capture in each of those slides the first slide should contain just your logo your name and your title this is your company logo your name is James Adisa MDCEO. that's all you should have in your first slide okay um, second slide the problem and the market opportunity what problems do you solve what does the problem why does this problem exist how big is the problem can you quantify this problem remember you remember you have 20 minutes for this or less number slide number three is the solution here you bring in your product to service and the cost for which you are for the NGOs the cost for which you are setting up this business put your name the name of your product or services immediately you can have screen captures photos or demos um, you need to state at this point the advantages your solutions have what's the economic impact of your solution can you quantify what it it is it is you are offering why should anyone trust a product who are those to be buying your product what's the total sum of your buying power of their buying powers okay slide number four is your business model how will you make money <laughs> You know what after every grammar you don't answer this question to your investors or your your venture capitalist you're wasting your time how will you make money what's your go-to-market strategy how will you reach your customers what channels are you planning to use what tra tractions do you presently have show what have you achieved so far that traction what traction do you already have I have I have already have um, um, five members of my family, five of my friends who are already placing orders. You need to show what traction you already have, because if it work, it should have started working. <laughs> How will you build momentum, right? And what has it been? Like I said before, what what is it planned to be, and how is it going to work so far? Um, what has it been if, if if you've been doing some things you need to show them um things like okay maybe my business is built around subscriptions my business is built around orders and all of that what's to, your cash to cash cycle like i said you've got to show what brings you money on periodic basis so okay we have this for 30 days you have this other one for 60 days we have this other one for three months we have this one for two weeks that means we have something that generates us money to ensure that we run our cash flow we take care of our overhead slide number five your underlying magic what will you say to spark a connection here what's your strategic relationships who do you know are they partners customers and they, that exist already what database do you have to kickstart here you are trying to say things like you know i mean do you have any rpo you know do you have any trade secrets what's the underlying magic in this your business what's that key that you think you can drop 
um, if you put it into a locked door. Now, slide number six is your marketing and sales plan. How do you plan to position and take control of the market? Slide number seven, your competition. Just flash logos of the top three. You really don't need to show list the names of your competition. Now, this there's a way you do. I'll show you how, 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 how you can do it. You can flash logos of the top three. Then state how you are different or better. Remember, different or better. Different or better, right? State the unique edge um, of your product and then use your logo to edge out the other logos just keep it simple and powerful look at this for example so you have this other all this look at for example all these logos logos one to six are your competitors then you now edge them out and bringing in your own logo to say even though we have all of these people in the market they have their strength their weaknesses but because of this thing that we are bringing in we are sure that this company and our product and this value proposition is going to um take a place in the market regardless of the existing competition competition all right um slide number eight is about your team talk briefly about yourself mention maybe about two more people you can put their pictures there highlight a few of their qualifications that especially relates to the business you are running and put their photos and positions preferably don't give the details of all the harvard schools that they have attended don't read out all their profiles just a little um, um the tips slide number nine barriers to entry that now here you are not barriers to your entering the business it's barriers to others what keeps others outside this business how defensive is your technology right um something like an expert on your team um can serve as a barrier to entry skill can cover that barrier to entry now here we are talking about what stops others from entering you can see, I mean, especially the fact that you have a, this encrypted code that um, only you, you guys have developed in Nigeria, it can be a barrier to other people entry. For the other ones, once they do their own, it can be easily cracked. This cannot because it's encrypted, blah, 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 blah. I mean, you've got to stay that barrier to entry for others, not you. Um, slide number three is your projections, right? Projections, status, and timeline. Investments to date and by who, especially your own. What are all the investments to date? You need to show your three year to five year projections and then show your break even and profitability points. Now, if you look at this um, sample um, projection, it's shown the revenue expense and the net. It shows that we are going to break even by sometime second year and we start making profit from the third year. They need to see this, very important. Okay, slide number 11. Your capital request this way you're asking for the capital and the use of the proceeds request what you need okay um, use timeline over six months to 12 months to show how you will utilize the proceed and lay out the options of how you can use the funds and state what you're willing to give for the funds you cannot be asking for money for nothing so they are bringing in equity because they want to take a share of the business slide number 12 is the same thing as slide number one only that it is your contact info and then the details your other details so you are still talking about james adisa md ceo of this company uh of this company and then this is your, your your address your email address and your phone number then the last one because i used 13 slide is your clothes your closing slide slide 13 which is bring this is where you end this is probably where you stop your presentation and flash this thing because it, 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 they ask you a question you don't want to start wondering okay ah marketing and sales was this like five or like seven you need to put this so at a glance you already know it's like slide six so if they need you to get back you can quickly rush back to slide six and show them something on marketing plans so you've got to put that as your last slide uh i think this is the end of my presentation um on saturday at the presentation at the main session We'll be taking um we'll, we'll watch three video clips where we show you different um um pitching um pitching um real life pitching that, that as people have made um the first one we're going to show you a formal and professional pitching um that lasted for seven minutes now the second one we're going to show you what we call a quick and zap elevation pitch there are sometimes um, um, investors who come together together and they just request for 90 seconds pitch, um, which I think we might give it a shot on Saturday. Um, they just want you to make a 90 seconds pitch and we're going to see where somebody made a pitch. So um, within, I think, about five minutes, 
he made a pitch and he got he got he got the um he won now then we are going to show you a real-time pitching session 18 minutes pitching from a clip from the dragon's den okay so we're going to all together we're going to watch a a, a 30 minutes video clip after that we'll take after watching we'll take comments we we'll review the characters we we'll, um we'll analyze what happened and then we'll now take pitching session up at, at which, well i think we we'll just take about five 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 people will come out and do their pitching um and we'll give them um three minutes each thank you very much i look forward to meeting you in class uh, this has been a wonderful experience um and i hope it's been useful to you thank you once more